and we're live. <laughs> I got an AMA question. I want to hear it answered too. Sure. Hey, Kyle, what are your favorite watches? Are there any of that any of you want to get? I read that perfectly. I just purchased myself an Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean Chronograph is my first Woo! big watch. Hey, you know that watch? Yeah, I'm not that. He has a link. I can um, show it to everybody. So I'm wearing my little Mont Blanc here. This is like two, like three grand. Picked. Something like that. Oh, um, can you show it again? I'll get you a little bigger picture. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I like this one. It's mm -hmm. like the first nice watch I ever bought. Um, I've been looking at, uh, I was, I was going to trade my Submariner in for um, a, either a deep sea dweller or, uh, or something similar. Um, that deal fell through. So I'm, I'm continuing uh, talking to jewelers and stuff. What I happened want, there? I, I thought it was a done deal when we talked. I thought it was too. He changed fact, his mind. He changed his mind. Bastard. Like, like, like the, the jeweler was kind of handling the, tra helping us with the transaction. Like, like, yeah, I got a guy who's in the market for one of those. Cause uh -oh. I was like, I was getting the band work done on this one, getting it refitted. And uh, he's like, yeah, I know somebody who wants one of those. You're not interested in a deep sea dweller, are you? And I'm like, you're goddamn right. I am. I was like, like, we, I'll do, I'll do this and that. He gives me three grand. How about that? He's like, do you want Oh yeah, I think he'll do that. And I was like, fuck yeah. I'll take I'd prefer that watch. It's not as gaudy because it was like the, it was a black to blue fade face. It looked cool to me. Um, not quite as gaudy as my, my watch here. And, uh, and you know, come out with three grand in my pocket. The watch that but, um, the deep. They are confident in their watches here. They conquered the deep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, I've got, a, I've got a, like a nice Movado that's real understated. Don't know where it is right now, but it's just like, that's, classic movado look you know two hands and a dot on the top and that's it it's all it's black on black on black it's do you know what um, it's called i can google it oh i don't i don't okay. know the model number but like all the movado watches pretty much look the same if you google black movado watch that's almost certainly it um i think it was like a grand it wasn't anything like super crazy um oh shit honestly, this, this sea dweller i'm looking at is eleven thousand seven hundred dollars just on the Rolex site. But you can't conquer the deep with a $5,000 yeah. watch, Taylor. <laughs> you can't even begin to, to, to intimidate the deep at those prices. <laughs> yeah, we're, 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 you. <laughs> we're talking about fifteen to $20,000 watches here. Um, and, oh, uh, man. Holy but God. honestly, like, like sometimes I'll put on this fucking Timex expedition that I've got mm -hmm. and I really like it. I like it a lot. I love, I love that. I like the fucking cheap ass leather band. I like the way it smells. <laughs> I really do. It smells good. It smells like a, a fucking shoe store. I don't know. I like that. Um, I, I, just, I love how fucking, oh, like $100 maybe? Like like this cheap little $100 watch? Maybe $150? I don't remember. It, maybe maybe $70. I don't really remember what I paid. But, like um, one, two, three, four, six, something like that. Um, and then I've got a... Um, a Luminox, like whatever the nicest Luminox they make is, I've got that one. Nice. It's like maybe not the nicest. Maybe they've like made something since because I got mine like years and years ago, but it was like five hundred dollars when I got it. And it's just like it looks like I don't know, it looks silly. There's just like so many numbers and like measurements on there, and I'm just like, I just want to know what time it is. Yeah. <laughs> like, but but I'll take it, you know, it, it looks cool. And is it then the Bear Grylls survival series? Definitely not. I wouldn't have gotten something branded <laughs> like that. And then, um, man, I really dig my, like, just Samsung S3. I think the S4 is coming out, but I love my S3. I don't plan on replacing it. Is that um, a smartwatch? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I've got, like, my, um, this is, like, the most basic bitch face that you can that you can actually get on it. Like, I just want information is, is all it's about. But if How I want to. How often do you charge it? So I've got the charger right here on my desk. It's, oh, I can't. Yeah, there. Like, what's it's your. Oh yeah. yeah. Can you hold it's it closer just, to your tie? If I unplug it. Oh, you can't. Okay, never mind, never mind. Yeah, like, it's unplugged now. How so hard do you yeah, have to work? Like magnetic shit. So like okay. it will it, it will last about three days with no charge. Um as long as I'm not using it actively to control um my phone or something mm -hmm. and like really taxing it. Um two days for sure. Uh like running timers and and all sorts of other programs that I use on it. Uh, I, I did put a new bezel on this one. That's the only thing. That's the only difference. The regular bezel isn't silver. I think it's just like flat black maybe. And I, I got this aftermarket bezel that I thought looked kind of nice. So yeah, it charges up pretty nicely. Um, battery lasts pretty good long time. And 
you know, you can change the face to list an infinite number of faces. I'm, I'm working on that right now. It's been a while because I kind of like, like my basic Fitch face. But my wife has an Apple Watch. That's what it's called. It's not an iWatch, right? In any case, so. she charges it every day. And she likes to wear it when she sleeps. It tells her how her night of sleep went, which means that at some point during the day, she has to like, you know, find some point where she's not going to lose a ton of steps or something. And I just look at that as a guy who charges his watch every two weeks thinking like, that's it's like part of your lifestyle. You have a daily mission to find some minutes every mm -hmm. day to charge it. That sucks. Yeah. So I like, um, I usually put it on when I wake up and I've got, you know, on my desk here, like I, I've just got, focus bitch um <laughs> i've got my uh my charger sitting there and i just kind of always remember to put it on there but yeah there's, there's an infinite number of faces that you can do through this thing this that one's more like a chronograph style face but there's just a ton of them and it's got a lot of functionality that i like i like that it's got a pedometer in it I always keep track of how many like steps i've taken uh, i can use it to control the camera on my phone you know if i wanted to set my phone up somewhere and like snap pictures or something mm. um i like uh i like a lot of the features it's got so what it's, watches uh, don't you have that you wish you had? Oh shit! Oh, I would like. like um, question. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> a real pimped out date just like like fucking gangster style with like diamonds all around the bezel would be sick. And uh, that's but, a type of Rolex, maybe. Yeah, yeah. And um, but most of all, it's the um, Breitling. Um, the Breitling that they. Uh, I'll get a picture of it. Is that also a Rolex? No, that Breitling is a brand. Oh, uh, date just this thing is unbelievably gaudy. Yeah, super gaudy. Uh, well, I, I mean, you know, they, they come in every oh. imaginable like iteration. So it's like you can get one that's very understated or one that's just like, who the fuck are you trying to impress, bro? There are so many different kinds of Breitlings on my screen. Do you know what it's called? Um, the what, is it like the. There's a couple of them that I like. Like, there's not one in particular. Um, the Navitimer Chronograph Stainless, uh, N A V I T I M E R, um, that appeals to me. And then there's one that's like, it's not Air King because that's fucking uh, Rolex. It's just like, it's something to do with like planes or something like that. And it's got just so much shit on the face. Yeah, these are all <laughs> about adventure. Yeah, yeah, they they're they're about they're about like hyper functionality, like, like stuff that it's ever time used. to conquer land now. Oh, is it called the Air King? An yeah. homage to <laughs> Avich. <laughs> Did you? Is that what it is? Is it Breitling Air King? I thought Air King was Rolex for some reason. Oh, I was just scrolling around the Rolex site because this is a very nice site. Oh, okay, yeah, it is then. Yeah, now the um, but yeah, I like the Breitlings. I like almost all of the Brightlings. I think one year or maybe for several years, like the World Series of Poker was giving out Brightlings um, as part of winning a, a, a tournament or a series of tournaments. And that, that's what got me kind of turned on to them. And then I started looking more and more into them as like an alternative to the Rolexes. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I don't know. I dig them. But they're very expensive watches. They cost as much as a car. And... Uh, you should get yourself a Pearl Master. Damn, look at that. You're going to be <laughs> the talk of the fucking town when you've got this thing on your wrist. I'm looking at the bright... Just, oh, my goodness. Even on the Rolex site, you have to inquire for price. <laughs> <laughs> the Breitling really Navitimer? Yeah, look at that, man. I would definitely need my reading glasses to use Need them, baby. Yeah. I, 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 I need them just to, look at the, just to look at your link. God yeah. damn. <laughs> yeah um but, but i'm not the one to ask about watches like 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 I, i'm certainly not an expert of any kind like like um someone was talking about tudor watches the other day i guess they're made maybe made by the same people that make rolex or maybe just made by rolex and they're like supposedly the best sub five thousand dollar watches there are i'd never even heard of them i didn't know anything about that um i don't know a ton about watches i just know that i know like the basic bitch shit uh, i'm i'm the equivalent of that guy who's like yeah well there's the mustang and the camaro and then Dodge also makes some kind of a fast car. I like it too. Like, like, like that's where, that's where I'm coming from with, with my watch knowledge. So don't, don't listen to me. I Take think, um, not just watches, although including watches, my style might be a bit gaudy. People are like, yeah, this one's gaudy and it's really over the top. And I'm like, I don't know what it feels to me. Yeah. I think Get I like it. Gaudy watch. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's just, it's like, look, you're about to spend 
two to twenty thousand dollars on a piece of jewelry and you want it to be understated uh, did i hear you correctly like like you want you want mm-hmm. it to just like to like just pass under the eyes of everyone but the most discerning of watchmeisters <laughs> is, that, is that who we're trying to impress with our jewelry watchmeisters yeah because if i'm pu- if i'm putting on something that costs a thousand dollars it's because i want like a girl to look at it and be like "Ooh." Ooh, that must be expensive. She's not going to look at it and be like, you know, I caught a glance at that guy's Submariner. I know it's the muted style, but that probably means he's even more wealthy. He doesn't even want the... No, it's... That's shiny as hell. What brand is it? I don't know. There's a diamond on it, though. Yeah, it's got to be Rolex. It's it's made of gold, and it's glowing. So I'm going (laughs) to go with expensive. If you don't know watches, what name brand impresses you? Rolex. I feel like the list includes Rolex. Well, that's the list, really. Yeah. I know. If you told me to name watch brands, Rolex, Fossil. <laughs> me too. Seiko. McDonald's. Timex. Timex. Uh, mm, you know, I'm coming up blank. Uh, probably Sony a- probably makes one. <laughs> you know? Sony. Uh, uh, Does Panasonic make a watch? Uh, there's one in my car. <laughs> no, I've, I've essentially got like one of each kind of watch, I guess. Like more or less. Like I, I, you know, I've, I've, got a, I've got a rather expensive uh rolex i've got a super fucking cheap timex i got my smartwatch that's just all about functionality i've got that uh luminox which is about i don't know like pretending you're in the military or the police or something i suppose i don't know it just looks cool to me though i thought <laughs> and uh and then this thing which is just like the first nice watch i ever bought and uh i don't know this watch has memories to it I, I'm, I'm wearing this in like a bunch of my uh videos you, you if, if you go back and look um it never scratched like like whatever they make um, the uh, the lens or whatever you call it on, on watches like it's face what is maybe that? no yeah the, uh, the face is underneath it whatever yeah. they make this shit out of <laughs> uh, is unscratchable because like it has been in some rough fucking situations climbing in and out of like tanks and stuff and I know I've banged it a bunch of times and uh, there is a little wear and tear like on the band but I fucking like that it's almost like we were talking about. Um, wedding rings the other day mm-hmm. and uh like like how it looks nice if you've got like a yeah i was showing my wedding ring that came in the mail mm-hmm. and i was like i was like oh it's i got the tungsten kind so it won't scratch and woody was like no 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 noob you want the scratches you want you want the storied history of it's like when you find like you would be way less stoked if you were like i got this japanese machine gun from world war ii never been shot mid condition it's like what well that's shittier than guns today but if it was actually used that's very neat so i don't know i'm gonna have to really get into some dangerous <laughs> to scratch this tungsten ring. <laughs> kyle it's called the crystal the front of yeah. the watch. And I thought crystal, that's a material. No, the crystal can be made of plastic, glass, or synthetic sapphire. It's called the crystal. It would be synthetic sapphire then, almost certainly on this watch. Because um, it is not scratched under any circumstance ever. Never even heard and, of that. Uh, and anything else would have. Because it's it's been rubbed against some metal and stuff like that. But yeah, I dig this watch a lot. Um, and like, if this watch were to get stolen, it wouldn't be a whole fucking emergency. Um, so this is the watch I wear the most. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. I think I wear my electronic watch the most because I, I, I use it to do things. It's it's the most functional of them all for sure. Everything else just tells time. And this does, I, I don't know, and 10 also, different things. Yeah.